Namaste. Welcome to day five. Uh, the universe has your back card. I pulled was when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. And the element that we're working on today is similar to light. It's space, ether, for the throat. And the angel card that I pulled is expansiveness. So finding space in your body to create more space in your life. The throat center is also connected to our willpower, meaning that it's where we decide if we're going to make a positive step forward or if we're choosing to sort of resist and hold back and stay negative and run negative tapes. So this is a called an energy center of purity, uh, space, opening, and really choosing to focus in a way that's positive. Please come onto your back to start practice. Any lying down pose you like that's comfortable in your body. I'm going to give you a specific breath. It's called Shivananda breath. And it's simple. Inhale to full capacity through your nose. Pause, hold the breath in for a beat or two, which is called kumbhaka or breath retention. Exhale all the way out through your nose, or if you need to breathe out through your mouth a few times, you can. And at the bottom of your exhale, also pause for a couple of beats, no breath. Do this a few rounds, and then I'll give you the next piece. Inhale to capacity. Holding. Exhale completely. Holding the breath out. Two more rounds. Now, continue holding at the top of your inhale and the bottom of your exhale. Continue holding that. And on your hold, so when you're not breathing, I want you to notice if you have tension in your upper back, your shoulders, or your neck. One part of your body will probably be a little more tense than the other twos. Inhale, hold. Notice if you have tension more in your upper back, your shoulders, or your neck. Exhale completely, hold the breath out, same thing. Do about three or four cycles till you start to get a sense. Good. Once you have a sense about where there's that, and it might be low level tension, it might not be really obvious, but once you get a sense of that, then just let the breath work go and let the inside of your mouth soften. Notice the space inside of your mouth and then let that sense of space that you can feel in your mouth travel into your neck, your shoulders or your upper back. Just invite a sense of spaciousness into the front of your throat, the sides of your neck, the back of your neck, the top of your shoulders, or the space between your shoulder blades. All 
right. Draw your knees into your chest. Flex your feet. Now at any point, if your neck gets tired during this work, feel free to rest your upper body and just kind of gently roll your head from side to side and rejoin when you're ready. Otherwise, bring your hands to the back of your head. As you exhale, think of pulling gently on the bottom of your skull bone. So right where your neck and your skull meet, exhale, come up. Inhale. Lengthen your neck a little bit more, and I'm using my hands gently, so I'm not tugging hard, to pull my head, and I'm lengthening my neck as I come back down as well. Inhale, traction your neck. Exhale, sit up. Inhale, traction your neck. Exhale, come down. So that you're finding a little bit of length in the back of your neck on the way up. and on the way down. Lengthen to lift, and then you can start to just do it on one breath. So you can move a little bit, just one breath, rather than two breaths. So we were sort of lengthening, holding, lengthening, holding, lengthening, coming back down. Now, as long as you're keeping some subtle traction on your neck, you can exhale up and inhale down. You can exhale up and inhale down. You can add one leg reaching out and back in. Other leg reaching out and back in. And if you keep your neck long, you can even start to twist. So reaching left to elbow to right knee and right elbow to left. But keep the idea, especially if you're doing the twist, of the neck lengthening on the way up and on the way down. I'm going to continue. Remember, rest if you need to. You could also go both legs out, both legs in. Both legs out. Kind of hold yourself up the whole time. Both legs out, both legs in, out, in. Continue with the crosses if you prefer that. And if you're getting tired, you could bring your feet down, rest for a moment, inhale, lengthen your neck, exhale, come up, inhale, lengthen your neck, exhale, come down. So just a softer variation. We're going to continue just a little longer, any of these variations that you like. Traction and lengthen. A couple more and then rest. Good. Coming all the way down. One more time. Roll your head slowly side to side if you need that extra little bit. Okay. To open the upper spine, we're going to move the bridge. So it's four parts. Inhale, arms reach back behind you. Exhale, hips lift a little or a lot. Inhale, roll your spine down. Press your navel and kind of cat your spine down. Exhale, lower your arms. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, hips lift as much as you can. Keep your arms reaching backwards as you inhale, roll your spine down. As you exhale, lower your arms. Inhale, arms reach back. Exhale, hips lift up. Inhale, hips roll down. Exhale, arms come down. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, lift hips. Inhale, lower hips. Exhale, lower arms. Reaching with an in-breath. Pressing into your feet, lifting your butt with an out breath. Inhale, rolling your spine into the mat, massage your spine down. Exhale, arms follow. And we're going to hold it now. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hips lift. And then consciously press your feet down. Soften whatever it was you felt was your most tense part. 
the space between your shoulder blades, your upper shoulders, or your neck. Let's take a moment to ask that part of your body to relax while you're holding bridge pose. If you need bridge pose to be more challenging, bring your right leg up, but keep noticing if you can let go of tension in any of those spots. Put one leg up, put it down, second side. Hips lift equally. Good. Let your butt come over to the right. Drop your knees to the left and lower your arms. Three breaths. Twisting transition. Reset the spine. Think of breath in any of those places. Neck, shoulders, upper back. Or invite space in. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. Ha. <sighs> and then come all the way to side two. One thing that's quite stimulating for this energy center is humming or singing or chanting. So if you're comfortable, you could just ohm a couple of times as you exhale. All right, turn to your side, come up to a seat and draw your left foot in. Keep your right leg long for just an easy Janu Shirsasana idea. Bring your left arm up to the sky, wrap it behind your back and then drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. So I'm just letting my head hang heavy. Bring your left arm up, move your right hand somewhere for support, tuck your chin in and then hold the back of your head. Let your left elbow hang, slightly rounding the upper back, neck, upper shoulders soft. I'm not pulling my head at all, but the weight of my hand on my head is giving me that traction through the neck. Kind of hard to start a practice like this right like i thought should i leave it for later because i just sort of feel like doing nice easy stretching for the whole time change sides right foot in left leg out but we'll do we'll do a nice uh, dessert at the end too okay reach your right arm up take your arm behind your back and then let your left ear drop down so inviting space and ease into the right side of your neck and shoulder And because you're practicing every day, if there's days that you need to make this practice a little softer, then you'll just take the softer variations. Good. Bring your hands to the back of your head, curl forward and down, move your left hand somewhere that's just easy to ground and support yourself. Good. Release your hand from the back of your head. Slowly come up and transition into uh, big toes together, knees wide. Reach your right arm forward. Draw your hand back. Elbow pulls back as you come into a child's pose. That's an exhale. Inhale, open your chest, reach your arm forward. Sort of like a swim. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, open. Exhale, you go as deep to child's pose as you can. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull back. Open. Two. One. Open it up. Dive your right arm underneath your chest all the way to the left. Drop towards the back of your head. 
So drop your right ear down, but also roll to the back of your head three breaths. Inhale, coming up. <clears throat> Left arm reaches forward. Pull your elbow back, sink back towards child's pose, open up. So sometimes you'll see me not going all the way into pose, and that's just because I'm trying to keep it clear for you in terms of hearing my voice. But you go as far back as you can. Exhale to pull back, inhale to open. Exhale to pull back, inhale to open. Exhale to pull back. Hold the open, roll your chest open, and then dive your left arm underneath your chest all the way. Drop your left ear down and roll a little bit towards the back of your head. Coming up. So you know by now that I'm always giving you different options for the vinyasa. Stay with anyone you like. The first one obviously is the easiest. Inhale, heart forward, or the softest. Exhale to child's pose. So that's it. You simply move through tabletop. You arch your back, and you exhale, pull back to child's pose. Otherwise, it's a down dog. Now you can come down to knees and pull your heart forward from down dog two, but you might be more ready for something more vigorous, which would be a simple, simple pull to plank, inhale, exhale, pull back to down dog. Inhale, pull to plank, exhale to dog. We'll do about three or four more cycles of just any of those. And then we'll meet hands and knees, half plank or full plank. Always a choice. Exhale, lower to the mat, keeping the front of your shoulders lifted. Roll your shoulders back, find cobra pose. Exhale, come down, squeeze your elbows in, press through a half plank. Either send your hips back to child's pose or tuck your toes under for downward facing dog. So let's work through that. Inhale, pull forward to full or half plank. Exhale, lower through the push-up. Untuck your toes, lift your heart, cobra. Exhale, come down. Press through a half or a full plank, child's pose, or downward facing dog. We're going to flow that two more times. Inhale, full or half plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, curling your chest open for Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhaling, coming down. Keep your neck long, chin is slightly tucked. Full or half plank, dog or child's pose. One more time. Good, we meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts to the sky. Open your leg, keep it straight. Point your right toes. Deep breath in, full breath out. All right, lift up high into the ball of your left foot. Exhale, tap your right knee towards your right shoulder and then straighten your leg, kick it out. Bend your knee, lift back up, straighten your leg. Exhale, bring your right knee towards your right shoulder, kick your leg to the side, bend your knee, open back up, straight. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder, kick to the side, bend your knee, open, straight. Exhale, bend your right knee to your right shoulder and then step forward. Walk your right foot down a little bit. Turn onto the outer edge of your left foot. If you need more support, both hands press down. Otherwise, right arm to the sky. Modified Vashistasana, head moves back. Now, if you know 
you're going to go right to Vashi, you can go ahead and stack your feet here. Otherwise, keep it modified this round. Bring your right hand down, turn forward, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Point your leg, point your toes, make your legs straight and strong. Lift high onto the ball of your right foot. Exhale, tap your left knee towards your left shoulder, then kick your leg out. Bring it in, lift it up. Not bad for an old, old broad. <laughs> lift, tap, kick. Not you, me. I'm the old broad in this scenario. Leg is straight. Knee, shoulder, kick, in. Ooh. This one, we're going to step it forward. Come in. Left foot steps forward. Turn your left foot to the left. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot. Push the floor away. Reach your left arm up. Modified Vashi. Stack the hips if you prefer full Vashi. Otherwise, modified pause. I'm really lifting my bottom ankle up, so my right ankle is lifting a lot away from the floor. Deep breath in, full breath out. Slowly release, downward facing dog. Now you might need a break from all of that activity. Take a child's pose. If you're like, nope, I want to do more, then come with me, plank pose. Lower through the push-up, belly down, shoulders back, cobra, or begin to lift to the tops of your feet, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, lion's breath. Stretch your jaw, stick your tongue out wide. Now come back to stillness in your dog and notice if there's tension in the place that you uncovered at the beginning of practice. Let your neck, your upper back, or your shoulders soften, which is no small task in this pose because your arms are working. Meet me at the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Press into your feet, reach your arms to the sky, stand up. Exhale, circle your arms behind you, thumbs touch the middle of your low back. Push your hips forward, lift your chest up. Exhale, bend your knees a little bit, fold all the way forward. Inhale, lengthen your legs, half lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Press into your feet, circle your arms up. Bring your hands to your heart. I am space, I am open. Inhale, I am positive, I am pure. Exhale, touch your hands to your low back. Press your hips forward, lift your chest. Little bend of your knees, forward fold. Release your hands, straighten your legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Sweep your arms to the sky, stand all the way up, hands come to heart. Circle your arms back, either touch your low back or clasp your right hand and your left hand back behind you. Push your hips forward, back bend and stretch. Keep your hands clasped, little bend of your knees forward, fold. Keep your hands clasped, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Release your hands, head is heavy, inhale, stand all the way up. Last one here, exhale. Inhale, circle your arms, hands touch the low back or left and right clasp. Inhale, push your hips forward, lift your chest, expose your throat. Little bend of your knees, exhale, forward fold. Head hangs heavy. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, release. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold in deep. Press into your feet, circle your arms to the sky, stand up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. If your shoulders are tight, try bringing your palms up and slightly forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, long spine. 
Exhale, plant your hand, step your right foot back to the right side of your mat. Keep this kind of a short, wide pose. Right arm forward, left arm back, rise all the way up. Warrior one. Inhale, touch your palms. Exhale, thumbs touch your third eye center forehead. Inhale, arms reach forward. Exhale, circle your arms behind you. Step back. You might lift your left leg up, split dog. You might just keep your left foot down, regular dog. You may choose to stay in dog or shift forward to plank. Perhaps hover in chaturanga. Transition to up dog or keep it lower cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, right foot steps forward, left foot flat. Left arm forward, right arm back, rise up. Palms touch, warrior one. Exhale, touch your third eye. Inhale, extend your arms. Exhale, circle the arms back. Split dog, right leg lifts or right to downward facing dog. Lower the foot to make it a little softer. Pause or shift to plank. And always lower the knees, exhale, hover in the push-up, or come all the way down to your belly, rising into Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, full breath out. Deep breath in, full breath out. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Rise high to the balls of your feet. Bend your knees. Empty your breath. Come to the top of the mat. Chair pose. Stand up. Hands come to your heart. Inhale. Reach your arms. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale. Step your left foot back. Rise up. Warrior two. All right, relax your arms down. Hold warrior two. Inhale, lift your shoulders to your ears. Exhale, roll your shoulders back and then let them soften. Don't push them down, let them soften down. Inhale, arms to ears. Exhale, roll open and down. Inhale, to your ears. Exhale, roll open and soft. Sweep your arms out. Turn your palms up. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, slightly bow in, roll your palms back. Inhale, palms roll up, heart. Exhale, palms back. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Reach both arms to the sky, turn your feet forward, exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Pause and wide-legged forward fold, or turn and take down dog. Now, I'm turning to the opposite side so that it's easier to see. You can go right to dog the way you always do. Otherwise, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, lower for cobra. Lift for up dog, exhale down dog. If you're in wide legged and you want a little more now, meet us in down dog. If you're in down dog, turn both of your feet to the right, reach your right arm to the sky for a variation of Ashi. You can always stack the feet, scissoring the feet slightly easier. Exhale, down dog. Turn both of your feet to the left. Stay in dog or shift to plank. Stack your feet or scissor your feet. Left arm lifts. Come on back to dog. All the way to the top of the mat. Press into your feet. Reach your arms to the sky. Stand up. Thamastitihi, standing in balance, hands at your heart. Inhale, chair pose, Utskatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Let your head hang heavy. 
inhale half lift long spine exhale step your left foot back rise up left arm forward right arm back palms join warrior one exhale touch to the third eye inhale extend exhale swim everything back hands down split dog right leg lifts keep the leg lift or lower it down shift forward plank or half plank exhale through the push-up inhale into your back bend exhale downward facing dog inhale left leg lifts exhale left foot forward right arm reaches rise up warrior one exhale touch the third eye inhale extend big swim back exhale left leg sweeps to the sky warrior split dog lower the foot or keep it lifted shift forward exhale lower through the push-up or hold inhale is your back bend downward facing dog inhale right leg lifts step it towards your right hand spin the back foot left arm forward right arm back rise up warrior one palms join touch your third eye inhale forward exhale circle around maybe a split dog right leg lifts lower the foot if you need to modify plank if you need a little bit softer otherwise full you can always go back to adding in the half or full push-up as well to create strength meet me in down dog hands push forward belly pulls in butt lifts up feet root down invite space behind your heart into all sides of your neck top of the shoulders rise up high to the balls of your feet bend your knees empty your breath come to the top of the mat inhale half lift exhale fold press into your feet sweep your arms to the sky hands come to your heart inhale chair pose utkatasana exhale forward fold inhale half lift exhale step your right foot back rise up warrior two let your arms hang heavy inhale lift your shoulders towards your ears exhale roll back and let them drop inhale shoulders to your ears exhale roll back let the shoulders soften down one more time inhale exhale roll back soften down reach your arms palms up exhale fold in inhale open up exhale little fold in inhale open up exhale little fold in inhale open up exhale fold in three more good my friends straighten everything up turn your feet forward wide-legged forward fold press into your feet stand all the way up turn to warrior two again but on the right side wrap your left arm behind your back drop your right ear towards your shoulder you want to work the legs more strongly lift your right heel up but keep your neck soft today roll your chin towards your chest warrior two gaze out over your right middle finger gaze past whatever you're looking on make your gazing drishti past a wall or whatever you're looking at go further out create space rise all the way up turn your feet forward bring your right arm over your left arm hold your shoulders or take eagle then turn your heels out bend your knees and fold in goddess squat with eagle pose or shoulder wrap drop your head as much as you can
Inhale, stand up, straighten your legs. Left over right, I'm not mirroring, hold shoulders or eagle. Bend your knees, lift your elbows, forward fold, head hangs heavy. Press into your feet, sweep your arms. It's warrior two with your left leg now. Right arm behind your back, drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Rest. Lift your left heel if you just need a little more activity, but keep your neck and shoulders soft. Good, chin to chest, lift. Warrior two, gaze past your hands. Let's turn the palms up here. All right, downward facing dog. Bring your feet close together. Turn your heels to the right, stack onto your right foot, Vashistasana. Gaze down so your neck stays soft. Gaze down at your own right hand. Second side, come up and over. Stack your feet. You know you can always modify by putting your left knee down or your right knee down. Vashi Stasana, gaze at your own left hand. Down dog. Rest in child's pose or take a vinyasa, meaning plank, calf plank. Chaturanga, cobra, or up dog. If you're flowing, flow two times. If you're resting, rest. Soften the neck, shoulders, upper back. Meet me at the top of the mat or towards the top of the mat. You don't even have to come all the way up. Now, you absolutely don't need blocks for this, but it does feel nice. It does give you some space. Step your right foot back. Not a big step to the right. Not a big step. Inhale, lift your chest, lengthen your spine, draw your left hip back. Exhale, fold towards your front shin. Pyramid pose. Now, you may be able to just rest your forearms on the blocks or your hands on the floor. Those of you who want this to be more challenging, bring your hands to your hips. Interlace your right hand and your left hand and then reach your clasp hands up as you bow your forehead towards your left shin. So this becomes more of a balanced posture. The first one's gonna be a little softer. In both cases, see if you can let your head hang heavy. All right, inhale, release your hands and lift your chest. You can always come back to that posture. Otherwise, bring your right hand or block a little out in front of you and reach your left arm up. So this is a revolved triangle, but it's a more spacious revolved triangle. Gaze down at your right hand versus up. So the neck stays long and soft. And if you want more work, shift into your front foot, lift your right leg up for a variation of half moon it's really revolved half moon but i like to call it revolved warrior three at any point you can step it back and be in a revolved triangle or really step it back and come back to pyramid eight more breaths any of those poses
Inhale, lift. Exhale, right foot forward, left foot back. Lift your spine, draw your right hip back. Exhale, draw your forehead towards your shin bone. Let your neck soften. This is the softer pose, the stronger variation, and it's quite a bit stronger. You bring your hands to your low back, you interlace your left and then your right, and then you lift your arms to the ceiling or to the sky as you drop your head. Feet press down and forward. So front foot goes down and forward, back foot can kind of go down and backward, almost like you're pulling the mat apart. Remember, you can stay in the first variation let your neck soften, bring space, even though you're in a balancing strong pose if you've got the clasp. All right, you can stay in pyramid or evolve the posture by bringing your left hand a little forward and out to the left and reaching your right arm up for a nice spacious revolved triangle pose or shifting into your front foot, lifting your back leg for a variation of half moon, revolved half moon. I'm gonna say gaze down at your left hand so we really keep reinforcing the idea of space through the neck, the shoulders, the heart. At any point, you can come out of the revolved half moon and revisit revolved triangle, Pavrita Uttita Trikonasana or come back to the softer pose pyramid. We've got about eight more breaths, any of the postures. Soft jaw, soft throat, soft face. Inhale, half lift wherever you are or coming back through pyramid. Exhale, move the blocks out of your way. Most of us will come into a child's pose for a couple breaths and kind of let all that settle. If you want to flow a couple more times, take yourself through Chaturanga Cobra Up Dog. Down Dog. All right, meet me on your belly all the way down. Coming into Sphinx Pose, tucking your toes for a forearm plank or walking your feet in for a variation of Dolphin Pose. In any of the postures that you've chosen, inhale through your nose, stretch your jaw, stick your tongue out, lion's breath. Do it one more time. If you sense tension in your neck, you might just sort of, you know, roll your head around intuitively. If you're in the dolphin variation, come back through forearm plank, and then we'll all lower our hips down. Bring your hands back, transition back through hands and knees, and then turn onto your mat so that you're facing the wide end. Now, for most of us, let's start with the knees bent and the feet flat. Option A, chin to chest, super simple. Option B, forearms to the mat, head is heavy. Option C, lightly hold the back of your head and let your elbows traction your neck. Option C is D, E, F, I'm not even sure now, is quite a bit more. You bring your arms underneath your legs and then you fold forward. Inhale. 
if you're in this deep, deep shoulder and hip opener, you got to kind of come out lightly. Otherwise, release your hands if you've got your head and then come on up. Come into a cross-legged seat, right leg in front of left, and then turn the palm of your right hand down underneath your right tush. Exhale, drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. If you're comfortable, close your eyes. As you inhale, I want you to think of lengthening your chest upwards. As you exhale, think of rooting the heel of your right hand into the earth. Inhale, lift and traction your rib cage up off of your pelvis. Exhale, press or soften your hand down. That's it. Continue on your own. Two more cycles of breath. Slowly roll your chin forward, then unhook your hand. Change the leg. Turn the palm of your left hand underneath your left butt. Drop your right ear. As you inhale, think of tractioning ribs off of the pelvis or lengthening your heart up. As you exhale, soften the heel of your left hand down. The inhale is an idea of lift and lengthen, keeping your neck released. The exhale is a rooting of your hand. Continue on your own. Two more cycles of breath. When you release, it's chin to chest first and then move your hand out. So that's kind of a mellow thing to do. If you want to stay in the mellow zone, stay in the mellow zone. If you need a little more vigor, maybe you're taking a full shoulder stand or some kind of a back bend. If you want to keep it on the mellower side, I'm going to suggest coming down, crossing your right ankle above your left knee, and then moving your hips a little to the right, turning eye of the needle into a twist. Take your fingers, traction your skull, lengthen your neck, and then relax everything back down. We'll be here for about 10 cycles of breath. So if you're doing something active, take your time. You're going to get 10, 20 breaths or so before we come into the final pose. Now, in this eye of the needle, if you're with me in the twist, let your left ear roll down towards your left shoulder. So sort of turn your ear down into your left shoulder.
Invite a sense of space or ease into your shoulders, your neck, your chest, your heart. And if you're with me, kind of scoot your head back to neutral, unhook your foot, come back through center. Cross your left ankle above your right knee, a little shimmy of your hips to the left, drop your foot to the right, eye of the needle, and then kind of scooch your right ear down towards your right shoulder. So I'm, I'm turning it down, but I'm also like the same fold we did to the side seated. We're here for about 10 breaths. One of the things our yoga practice helps us with is that because we take the time on the mat, we literally are creating space in our body, but we're also creating space in our life to do the practice. And anytime we step back and we remind ourselves that we can step back or we can create space or we can pull in, not to pull away from so much, not because we're trying to get away from something, just to regroup, to recenter, to refocus, we can bring that idea anywhere anywhere that we're feeling crowded off of the mat. Deep breath in, scoot your head back to normal, and just trust. <clears throat> just trust that if you can find space in your body, if you can find a softness in your body, if you can find a surrendering or letting go in your body, then you can find that mentally and emotionally. It's the same feeling. It's just a matter of practice and getting comfortable with it. Both legs to the sky, waterfall pose. If you've been doing something else, maybe you wanna just join us here in something super simple and easy. And as your legs are up, bring your fingers back to your skull bones and kind of massage or lengthen right there so that you're just reminding yourself to have space in the back of your neck. Relax your hands. If you're close to a wall, you could even just take your legs right up the wall and then you can end your practice with legs up the wall. If you prefer constructive rest or Supta Baddha Konasana to a full Shavasana, Soft inhale through your nose. A little hold. Notice if the tension in the neck and the shoulders or the throat has dissipated. Soft exhale out of your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Little hold, nothing aggressive. Notice if your upper body is a little more open now, a little softer. Exhale out of your mouth. One more time. Let go of the breath. Notice any sensations in your upper lip. Notice any sensations in your lower lip. Notice the space between your upper and lower lip. Notice the space inside of your mouth.
and invite the space inside of your mouth to travel down into all sides of your neck, sides of your neck, back of your neck and throat. That feeling of opening or space travels into the top of your shoulders and your upper back. Down into your arms, your elbows, your wrists and your hands. Invite the space from your mouth and throat down into your ribs, your torso, your back and your buttocks. And then further on, space down into your thighs, your knees, your calves, your ankles, and your feet. I am pure positive energy. I am open. If you can continue to rest, rest. I'll leave you here so that you can continue Shavasana or turn to a seat for a breath meditation on your own. Namaste.